Welcome back. Right now it is time for more tech tips with Nexus IT. And today we're going to focus on cybersecurity and the lack of women within that workspace. Here to tell us more is Tara Anderson from Nexus IT, and she's coming to us from their cybersecurity summit at Jordan Commons. Tara, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, as you can see, I'm live here at Jordan Commons down in Sandy, Utah for uh, a conference that we've been planning for quite a while. Um, we're actually really excited to be meeting in person today, discussing all things cybersecurity, risk management, protecting businesses here locally and beyond. Um, I'll be on a panel with other incredible women that are pioneering the way for Utah and, and women in cybersecurity this afternoon. Oh, it's exciting that you can be all together, that you can meet within the Cybersecurity Summit. And something that we wanted to discuss today is specifically women in that space. There's definitely a lack, and what can we do about that? What do we need to know about that? There's ab absolutely a lack. In fact, there's a skills and talent gap in cybersecurity in general. There's actually uh, 4 million jobs open in the space to the in increase in cybercrime that we're seeing right now. Um, so in general, we're recruiting all individuals that um, have a capacity and interest for cybersecurity. But in general, women right now only make up about 24% of the workforce, which is up from 11% just a few short years ago. Um, so we're trying to get out there, be mentors. Um, we want to go and, and provide representation for females, show other girls and women that the, the, there are women doing this work. Um, we're hoping to get rep represented more in the media. Hopefully at a certain point, you'll see more stock images of women working in cybersecurity and just not uh, young men in hoodies uh, working behind a, a dark screen. Do you think there's a hesitancy for women to get into this field because there is such a lack? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think the, he the hesitancy comes from just the way that we talk about it. Cyber security, they're both very masculine words. You know, cyber, you do you picture big machines, machine learning. Um, you expect to have an advanced degree in computer programming when you talk about cyber. And then you look at the word security and you, and you think of beefed up men, armed guards, you know, protecting actual physical assets. Um, but we want to get away from that stereotype. You know, we understand that the more diversity that you bring into roles, that the better uh, solutions that are provided out of those roles, um, the more diversity also leads to more uh, problem solving, decision making increases, different points of views are represented. And as you know, cyber criminals, you know, they, they are uh, very diverse as well. So in order to defend that, we need to be diverse in that segment as well. And we're seeing so many hacks, especially when you look past this year. And, you know, just even very recently, there's been many data hacks and issues within cybersecurity, really large issues. So it's very important that we have people that are capable and willing to work hard to help with this problem. Absolutely, you're correct. It's going to take all of us. Uh, we're all going to have to band together, pull resources together. You know, we would absolutely love to make cybersecurity more approachable. So deploying, uh, you know, similar to a dental office or, or banking system where there are entry level roles that you can get into immediately with very little skills and train on the job, you know, making training and certifications more digestible, more affordable, uh, more solutions uh, for, for working individuals that would like to get certified, you know, alongside their day job, provide businesses motivation and incentive to uh, pay their employees and incentivize their employees to pursue this training as well. And as a woman or someone who doesn't necessarily see themselves represented within the cybersecurity work field, if this is something that you want to go into. Where do you recommend starting? You know, I would recommend starting, um, gosh, you know, that's a great question because there's so many open roles, um, but I would recommend uh, looking at local community colleges. Um, they are now uh, seeing an increase in certifications in the space. You could also go to uh, Udemy. You can go to Cybrary. They offer really low cost uh, cybersecurity training to kind of get some, some entry level certifications under your belt. At least see if it's for you. I know the last course that I took on risk management over Cybrary was only a $12 course and it was highly beneficial. And you're at a really fun place, Jordan mm -hmm. Commons. It looks like a great cybersecurity summit. Anything else Absolutely. that we need to know or should know about this summit in particular or other things that are coming up with Nexus IT? Sure. Just one thing to know, this early in the morning, it already smells like movie theater popcorn. So, you know, yeah, so it already, already smells great down here. The cybersecurity summit lasts from 8 to 5. 
Um, Sean Bott from The Mentalist will be here at five o'clock um, doing some mind bending shows, which will be really neat. But in advance of that, there's all kinds of incredible speakers um, from cyber attorneys, cyber insurance carriers, the women that are making up the cybersecurity field, uh, many individuals here uh, that you can come down and get uh, in a room with, uh, hear their thoughts and perspectives. There's lots of opportunities for networking, getting to know uh, fellow business owner, owners, leadership, and also the cybersecurity professionals in Utah. Of course, if someone wants help with cybersecurity, if they have concerns about what they're working on with their networks, also anything from working from home, any kind of tech issue that they're having, we encourage them to reach out to you all at Nexus IT. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much, Tara Anderson, for joining us. You can get more at nexusitc.net. We always appreciate their monthly tech tips with us right here on Park City Television. We'll be back with more right after this.